Hi guys, uh, welcome. Uh, thank you for joining me. It's Mac of Big Print Birmingham. Uh, what I'm going to be doing today is uh, on the Conica Minolta show you how to do a tray alignment. So um, what I've done here is I've um, printed some stickers uh, for a customer and what I've noticed is that on one side it's just off alignment. The other side is fine but on the one side it's off alignment. I've double checked the artwork, the artwork is perfectly fine. Um, so I'm just going to show you how to um, use Command Workstation uh, to uh, align the paper. Right, so the first thing that you need to do is you need to come over to uh, Command Workstation. Um, go on to, on to Device Center. Uh, click on Tray Alignment. So Device Center Tools, Tray Alignment. And then click on this button on the right you should get a pop-up it's gonna say which tray do you want to do the alignment on so we want to do the tray currently I'm using tray number two and I want to do a tray alignment on the A4 short end and uh, why not I'll do I'll do a tray alignment on the duplex um, on, on both sides so I'll press continue so these are the values which are currently recorded for the tray alignment uh, tray number two and um, we're going to most likely change these values in a few minutes um, on this um, you can see that the machine is saying it's out of paper it's only saying that because the paper that I currently have in the machine is different to the paper it wants to use in order to do the tray alignment so I'm going to bypass that by just simply clicking on that and clicking uh, clicking on plain A4 my previous settings and just press close that will then force the paper that I currently have in the machine which is the um, the paper that I want to align, uh, I want the machine to um, do the alignment on. So now here we go. It's done a duplex print, as you can see. So what happens now? Um, all we have to do is simply fold the A4 paper. So the two edges here match match up there and then put a crease down uh, it's very difficult to hold the phone and do this uh, let me see if I can put the phone on a stand so here we go then so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna fold this paper I'm gonna join the two edges together and then I'm gonna simply create a crease here and then I'm gonna fold it the other way And then I'm going to create myself another crease there. And then another crease there. This would be a good time for me to have a pen in my hand. So I'll grab a pen. Right, so I've got a pen now. So what we've got, we've got a side A. So if I look at the crease, it's coming up on 23. Um, this side, the crease is also 23. The bottom one is 26, 27. Flip it over. We've got 21 on this side. The crease is falling on 22. The crease is falling on dead center 25. So that's how we um, identify, we get these values, which we're now going to go back and uh, punch into... Um, um, command workstation so here we go so right let's look at side A so currently we've got 23 23 and 25 I've got 27 on my printout and then on the reverse side I've got 26 on the computer but in reality the printout is saying 21 and uh, 22 and 25 um, and if I just press apply close go back to jobs go back to my jobs um, and then I'm gonna go to the printed jobs I'm gonna reprint myself another test and uh, let's see what happens Okay. I 
if I have a look at that. Now that is much, much better. That is much better. Yeah, I can work with that. So I'm happy with that. So there you go guys, uh, that's how you do a tray alignment on the Koenig Minolta. Well, it doesn't really have to be a Koenig Minolta. It's uh, the command workstation. So the tray alignment was done via the software command workstation. I'm using command workstation 5 because my machine is only compatible with that particular version of um, uh, a Fiery command workstation. Uh, I hope this tutorial was helpful. Uh, if it was, um, do subscribe to the channel and uh, do share the video.